Hello my dear children, this is your computer teacher. In computers, today we will do the exercises of the chapter that is formatting in Microsoft Word 2007. So let's get started. Oh, here we have filling the blank. The first question is dash refers to the amount of blank space between the edges of the page and the document text. Means our page ke jo edges hai, किनारे हैं और डॉक्यूमेंट दो, टेस्ट है जो लिखा हुआ है आपने डॉक्यूमेंट में उसके बीच में जो ब्लैंक स्पेस है उसको हम व्हाट वी कॉल दैट स्पेस दैट इज नोन एज मार्जिन सो द राइट आंसर इज मार्जिन हियर वी विल राइट एम ए आर जी आई एन एस मार्जिन ओके एम ए आर जी आई एन एस मार्जिन सो दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन Now see the second question that is to copy formatting to multiple tabs dash on the format painter button means अगर हमने एक tab में कोई formatting लगाई है then उसको copy करने के लिए what we have to do we have to double click on the format painter button format painter की help से हम format को पूरा copy कर लेते हैं ना so here the right answer is double click so we have to double click on the format painter button. So I am writing here double click. Okay. This is the answer number two. Now see the question number three that is column breaks option is present on the dash tab. I have told you using this option, using this column break option, we can divide our tab into columns. हम अपने tab को columns में divide कर देते हैं. So in which tab this option is present? This is present in page layout tab. So the right answer is page layout. Here we will write page layout tab. Okay. So the right answer is page layout. Now see the fourth question, which is the default margins are set at dash from top, bottom, left, and right edge of the page. हमारे default margins क्या होते हैं? जो already जो system से हमारे पहले से margins होते हैं they are one inch, okay? One inch by default हमारा set होता है margin, and we can change it according to our requirement. हम अपने requirement के according इसको change कर सकते हैं. So by default it is one inch. Right answer is one inch. One inch, okay? Now see the next question. Fifth question is the default tab stocks are set at every dash. I told you that by default हमारी जो tab की हम press करते हैं that us to the point five inches forward. So by default it is set to point five inches. So here we will write zero point five inch. Okay. So this is the right answer of question number five. By default the setting of tab key is point five inch and we can change it as per our requirement. Now let's start the true false. The first question is indentation determines the amount of spacing above or below a paragraph. Means paragraph ke above and below mein jo space hai that is known as indentation. As we know indentation is the space between the text and the page margin. Page margin or text ke peech mein jo space hai usko hum indentation bolte hai. So this is false. Right. Answer. Second question is tab key is used to move the cursor forward certain spaces in a document. Means tab key को use करके हम forward की तरफ move करते हैं. Is it true? Yes, this is true. Right. Answer. Question number three is the page break option splits the document into two or more columns. Page break option को use करके हम columns में divide करते हैं? No. For dividing into columns, we have to use column break option. So this is false. Right. Answer. Question number four is landscape is the default paper orientation in Word 2007. As we know, by default, our page portrait mode may set hota hai. So this is saying wrong and this is false. Right. Answer. Question number five is the subscript option places the selected text slightly above the baseline. Means subscript option se our text slightly baseline mein thoda sa above kela jata hai. Is it true? No. Above jane ke liye we use Superscript and using the subscript, the test is placed slightly below the page line. So this is false. Right. Answer. Now the next thing is APQs means application based questions. 
The first question is Aryan has been given an assignment to write three paragraphs on the topic Keep your city clean. Name the options which he would use to set the indents and margin to format the paragraph. Paragraph ka indent and margin set karne ke liye which options are given in Microsoft Word? I have already told you that we have increase indent button and decrease indent button given in home tab. So to set the indent he can use the increase indent button and decrease indent button given in the home tab. And for setting the margins, we can use the margins option present in the page layout tab. Page layout tab mein humare paas ek option hota hai margins. Using that option, we can set the margins of the page. So, this is the answer. Now, see the second question. The second question is, Dia has created a science project of 5 pages in Word 2007. Her science teacher has asked her to mention the topic page number and her name on all the pages. Suggest her the most suitable option for the same. As I have told you, the header and footer option is best to write your name, page number and topic on all the pages of the document. If you have to mention all the pages of the page number, mention karna hai, name mention karna hai, or topic mention, karna hai, then you can use header and footer option that is uh, displayed in the margin of the page. Okay, so the right answer is header and footer. Multiple choice questions. The first question is the dash option places the selected text slightly above the baseline. If we have baseline se thoda sa text slightly upper chahiye, then what we will use? We will use superscript option. So the right answer is superscript. Right answer. Second question is dash option divides the document in two or more columns. If we have document ko columns we divide karna hai, then which option we will use? We will use columns. Right. Answer. Question number three is the selected test can be shifted half inch away. This is one by two means half. Half inch away from the left margin by using the dash button. Means, uh, the selected test hai, agar hum isko half inch uh, left margin se thoda sa half inch aage ki taraf le jana cha rahe hai, then what option we will use? Increase indent or decrease indent? We increase karna hai na indent, half inch badhana hai. So the right answer is increase indent. Right answer. Question number four is the top and bottom margins of a document can be changed by using the dash. Agar hume document ka top and bottom margin change karna hai, then which option we will choose? We can choose vertical ruler. Right. Okay, answer. vertical ruler aapka side mein display hota hai, ruler, usko scale ke tada hota hai. That can be used to set the top and bottom margins. Okay? Now the question number 5 is, which among the following shortcut keys is used to increase the indent? Means if we want to increase the indent, then which shortcut key we can use? We can use CTRL plus M. So this is the right answer. Right answer. So children, exercises are complete now. This much for today. Thank you.